What's going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Those Nights of Warriors 3 and Infinite Cycle. Where we'll be taking on part 8 of the custom I'm in the second living room. Which for this room, we're dealing with Mario, Ashley, Toad, and Donkey Kong. Which I was set into their levels. I'll set Mario on level 7, Ashley on level 8, Toad on level 9, Donkey Kong on level 10. So, without further ado, we will take on part 8 of the custom night mode in the second living room, see what that's offer for us. Hey Link, day number 4. Hope you're doing good, except the fact of your current situation. As for me, I'm anxious on the fact that there's a crazy man on the loose. So, anyways, where are you hiding tonight? Ah, the large living room. Okay. There's only six so cameras the camera should have... Wait, 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 what? Why are half the cameras missing? Why the cameras don't work? Why don't have six select? Why are the cameras missing? Oh, that's missing? bad. Okay, normally you should never do this. But you'll have to for tonight. If the spirit's in your room, go to a working camera and press space to shut it off. Making a sound that should ward them off. Only issue is that the camera takes a whole minute to reboot. So if you started to run out of cameras, you can always stare at an enemy to keep them from moving as fast. Though, by now, they'd be less likely to be fully stunned if you look at them. Man, I'm surprised you managed to keep your head together as well as you have. Though, I must warn you, you've been pretty stressed for days now. I think you might start seeing things, such as an intimidating figure you've seen, even if they're actually friendly. The situation may make them seem unfriendly and, you know, horrible. If this should happen, look away in whatever way you can, okay? That should be everything. Good luck. Uh-oh, another Richard McCrory phone call. Hello there. How have you been? I'm sure you've been keeping yourself entertained over there this week. So just how much longer will you last? We're getting used to your tricks, you know. <laughs> oh, how I long to see your face again. I hope you show as much fear as you did back in the factory. That's right. I know you're the one. We know you're the one. This game ends tomorrow. We've wasted enough time. We'll get our revenge on you. But not before I take out that friend of yours on the phone. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, old friend. Okay, anyways. So whoever shows up in the room, we have to shut off a camera to scare them off. And then whoever we see on a certain part of the room, we have to look away from them. Okay, I see Toad. I saw Donkey Kong, so I had to switch the camera. This Donkey Kong I know is a hallucination in the scan. Oh, I hear Mario. Ugh, Mario's jingle is so stressful. Okay, Toad's on the staircase. I just saw Donkey Kong. I see Ashley. Do I shut off the camera since she's there? Let me figure that out. Okay, so that's how the camera shuts off. You press spacebar and it will make a sound that will scare them off. And it takes a whole minute for the camera to reboot. Nope, Donkey Kong, gotta look away from you. I hear Mario's jingle, but I don't see him on the TV or anywhere. Ah, 
Yeah, Donkey Kong. Okay, so as I predicted, Donkey Kong is a hallucination, and we have to put our camera. I see Mario on the TV. Do we have to play the sound to scare him off or something? Bah! Donkey Kong! Okay, and I saw Ashley leave the garage, so I think that works on her. I'm not sure if it does. And I haven't had to deal with Toad yet or Mario. I've only dealt with Ashley and Donkey Kong. Okay, I hear footsteps. I don't know who's coming, though. And I don't know who I have to look away from. Okay, Toad, shut off the camera. Okay, that'll scare him off, so that's good. And I got rid of Ashley on a camera, so that's good. Ah! I saw Donkey Kong, so I gotta be worried about him. Switch the camera. And where's Ashley? I don't see Ashley. I guess I must have scared her off with that camera sound or something. Huh, okay. I mean, is Ashley the one we have to look away from? Because I'm confused about how to deal with Ashley. And I'm confused on how to deal with Mario 2 or something. Okay. Mario's still on the TV. He hasn't really moved that much. And we've beaten part 8 of the custom night mode in the second liver. That was a little bit confusing, but we beat him nonetheless. Okay, so the next room we have to do, which is the last room I haven't done yet, is the laundry room. And for this room, we're dealing with Mario, Bowser, Toad, and Donkey Kong. And I will take on part 8 of the custom night mode as well in the laundry room, since I got enough time. So for Mario, I'll set him to level 7. I'll set Bowser on level 8. Toad on level 9. Donkey Kong on level 10. So, without further ado, we'll take on part A of the custom night mode as well in the laundry room and see what has to offer for us. Oh, we can turn on a laundry machine? Nice. That's... That's the washer, this is the dryer. Hey Link, bit number four. I'm going to let you know that after this week, we're taking two weeks off because our boss is worried about our safety as a crazy man is on the loose. Anyways, we should get back on topic. So, where are you tonight? Ah, the laundry. Well, there's two machines in there. The washer on the left and the dryer on the right. Yeah, that's the washer, so that's the dryer. The cameras tonight so that you know who is attacking you. Since you have your back to both of the doors, you won't see who's in the room. Though you may hear the door open if both machines are off. A large, aggressive ghost will likely be wore off by the loud washer, the machine that's on the left, while a small, timid ghost will be wore off by the humming of the dryer, the machine that's on the right. However, certain spirits may find the noise of the machine calming, so if there's a red camera that doesn't seem like the others, and someone's in there, turn on either of the machines, but be careful as to not turn on the wrong one, depending on which of the other spirits is coming for you. Man. I'm surprised you managed to keep your head together as well as you have. Though, I must warn you, you've been pretty stressed out for days now. I think you must have uh, seen things such as, as a scary figure you've seen. If they're actually friendly, the situation may make you seem them as something wrong. If this should happen, look away in whatever way you can, okay? That should be everything. Good luck. Oh 
boy, another Richard McCroy call. Ugh, this never gets old. Hello there. How have you been? I'm sure you've been keeping yourself entertained over the past How many times have you called me, Richard? So just how much longer will you last? We're getting used to your tricks, you know. <laughs> oh, how I long to see your face again. I hope you show as much fear as you did back in the factory. I hope you have That's fear right. too, Richard. I know you're the one. We know you're the one. This game ends tomorrow. We've wasted enough time. We'll get our revenge on you. But not before I take out that friend of yours on the phone. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, Richard McCroy is the crazy man on the loose in this game. <laughs> okay. So we gotta check the red camera see who's coming. The aggressive characters, which I'm assuming, which Bowser, the aggressive character, which is Bowser, I have to turn on the washing machine, and then the small and timid ghosts like Mario, like Mario or Toad, I have to use the dryer, or the washer, whoever, whoever doesn't like it. Oh, I see Bowser coming. So if I hear the door open, then I have to turn on the machine. Like if it's aggress if it's an aggressive sound, turn on the washing machine. If it's a timid sound, like a quiet, then I gotta use the dryer. Yeah, this this game this laundry room is the same mechanic as it does Final Fantasy Warriors 3, where you have to turn on a washing machine to scare off the animatronics. Or characters, sorry. What they're called in this game. Up Donkey Kong. I know it's a hallucination, so I gotta be careful of him. And if I see something strange, I have to look away. Which I think it's going to be either Mario or Toad. Donkey Kong, I know i got to put the camera up and then switch a camera if he's in there. Oh wait, I saw Mario's hat in there. Is Mario's hat going to be a concern for me this night? Oh, Mario's starting to come up, okay. Okay, so Mario's gonna be concerned this night. Donkey Kong? <laughs> okay, how do I deal with Mario? Let me think. Hmm. Okay, I'm assuming if Mario fully comes up, then I have to turn on the dryer. To scare him off, okay. Because Mario and Toad are smaller characters, so... I'm assuming they're going to be the timid ones, and we have to use the dryer. Bowser, we have to use the washer, because he's aggressive. Okay. Okay, so... Mario's definitely going to be concerned once he fully shows up on the bedroom camera. Okay. Okay, so I gotta turn on the dryer for Mario once once he fully shows up on the second bedroom camera. I didn't think he was a concern at first on the camera, but he is a concern, so I gotta use the dryer. Because, I mean, he is a smaller character. And I can imagine he's just as timid as Toad when we use the dryer. Okay, Mario definitely confused me at first, but I got a better understanding. Okay, so I see his hat. Mario's, Mario's hat will show up on the bed first. Then he will start to slowly rise up, like he is now. And once he fully rises up, then we have to use the dryer. Or the washer, I don't know which one. I think it's going to be the dryer. Okay, see that? Now we gotta turn on the dryer for Mario. Does it work? Yep, it does. Perfect. Alright. Alright, so when I when the dryer comes on, when the when I turn on the dryer, Mario will go back into his normal form on the camera. So 
So for Mario and Toad, we have to use the dryer. For Bowser, we have to use the washer. Which I gotta use it for Bowser and Toad once they enter. Okay, the door sound. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the washer since Bowser's there. Does it work on Mario 2? I'm not sure if it does. Ah! Okay, so it's Toad. Okay, so if I hear that sound, then it means Toad's coming in. I thought I thought that was Bowser at first because it sounded kind of aggressive, but it was Toad. Okay, so this laundry room is definitely confusing, like the second living room. It's a little bit confusing, but hopefully I can get an understanding of it. Great, I've already been jump scared by Mario and Toad this night. I haven't been jump scared by Toad and Bowser. Okay, so for Mario, which, um, let me think. Okay, so for Mario, I can use either the washer or the dryer on him once he fully appears on the camera. For Toad, I gotta use the dryer. Bowser, I gotta use the washer. Okay, so that creaking sound I just heard means Toad enters. So I'm assuming Bowser has a different sound. Because I almost thought that was Bowser at first, because he's an because he's an aggressive character for this room. Whereas Toad and Mario are more timid. And from what I know, Bowser comes from the staircase, Toad comes from the hallway, Mario comes from the second bedroom, and Donkey Kong just showed up, so I had to switch the camera. Because, I mean, he's a hallucination. Okay, here in Mario's music box. Let the camera recharge for a bit. Okay, Mario is not there. Donkey Kong is still there. So I can't check for Toad yet because Donkey Kong is there. I can check for Bowser and Mario right now. Okay. Okay, Donkey Kong's still there. I see Bowser, so that means he's going to be entering soon. I didn't pay attention to Toad because I didn't check the camera. So I gotta check the camera for... So if Bowser or Toad leaves, I gotta check the camera for them. Okay, Bowser just left, so he's gonna come in soon. Okay, I'm listening for Bowser. I don't hear him yet. Ah! Toad! God, why did Toad have to jump scare me? Ugh. Okay, this room is confusing as hell to deal with. I've already been jump scared by Toad twice and then Mario. And I'm actually gonna end my video here. We will... Since I'm gonna jump into another video any minute, but um... I will end my video here. We will take on the rest of the laundry room in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button and also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And um, let me know how to deal with all the characters in the laundry room because I am confused as hell. So please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate that. And anyways, I will end my video here. Goodbye.